Place the Taprius Smart Key battery. Let's go to forward. Okay, and this first step is really that I have to lift up a little bit this my smart key, and there is a small arrow in that side, and this is this critical thing, and small arrow up, and same time when I install that in here, I pull out this spare key. This is first step. Very easy. And then we have to look in their inner area and in inside in there, there is a small slot in there. And let's go to look at what this slot. Now we can see that there is a small area. And in here I have to install this my key in that slot. In this way. And then a little bit bend that. And then this cover opens. Look. In that way. Okay, everything flies away. And remember that this key spot, now one of these flies a little bit away and they must be in this way. Look, this is critical that they are in that way. And I can drop all of these down. Actually this, okay now one of is dropping and we can install very easily. A little bit in this position like in 45 degree and then they close nicely only one way in that way and then we check everything is okay this is important thing and then there is this rubber part this belongs in here and this goes only and this is this back areas cover is this area this is back cover okay and this is like protective part and there is adjusting bolt. Look, this small dent. And this dent goes in that hole in here. In this right up area. This part goes in here. This is really critical that we install this just right in back. Because otherwise we have issue. And in here we have the smart key. Core circuit board and in that area in this basic model this is this battery and in that area now we need something sharp head head tool okay and now we really need like this sharp head flathead screwdriver what looks like that this is okay or then if we have some sharp head pike, there is this, this area must be sharp. And of course, if we have knife, but work carefully with knife, because you can hurt your fingers and hand like I made about 10 years ago. And then I should to visit in hospital with doctor. Okay, but now we work carefully and now I took this flathead screwdriver and in this point this is this is important that we take this old battery away in just right way because if we are too too fast and not professional we can broke this small plastic these clips in here and let's go to look closer okay and now now we can see that there is one two and three and four of these plastic things and that we have to be really carefully that plastic is always weak and that's this area in here is only possible opening direction do not ever open that in this way and I install in just in this side area there is actually small dent in here you can see just small dent in here that one this is Toyota's engineering this is amazing fantastic because now this flathead it fits really in here look this is like in some movie but this is normal Toyota's engineering and now when I little bit paint that, 
then this factory opens. Let's look at how this happens. And now we take fingers in here and now I press that about 10 pounds force this area, not in this battery. And in same time I installed that my key in just in below of that battery. Let's go to look closer. Now we can see this point. This is really critical. When you do it that way, then you don't damage your remote key. Because this remote key, this cost about 500 US dollars. This is really expensive. But and now I little bit bent that and look, it flies away. This is this is nice engineering. This is Toyota's engineering. And let's look again. This this battery goes only in this direction, 45 degree angle. Look, this is the installation in what way it goes and there are those two plastic things and then thump up and be down in this way and now it is in there and let's look again because this is so interesting flathead screwdriver in this small dent and then only a little bit rotation and look it likes flies away great everything is easy when you have a good good teacher and you can also learn any skill when you have good teacher, remember. And, and then, second or third point. Then we have to purchase good quality battery. Remember, my friend, this is really expensive device. This is Toyota's original smart key, key and remote control, and this cost 500 US dollars and in that area if there goes like leaking water or liquid in here then the circuit board can damage and that's always purchase good quality batteries and best one of these batteries is always as in here this is original Panasonic Panasonic is best battery for Toyota cars and also in your car. Panasonic makes Toyota's these hybrid cars batteries and it is really excellent Japanese brand. Like same kind of brands like in Apple and Toyota. And that's purchased always in Home Depot or Amazon.com Panasonic battery and then this type and size CR2 Zero three two, and this is this this remote keys battery. What you have to purchase? Do not ever purchase any batteries where is this not uh, no no any brand in here. Do not purchase this Chinese one piece of batteries because this bad quality battery can destroy your five hundred dollars remote key in the, this Toyota car and if that kind of issue happens you can purchase new remote key from Toyota dealership center and, and, but it cost 500 US dollars and that's purchase always Panasonic batteries and if you don't have Panasonic then there's other options this Duracell and Varta from Germany those three batteries I use only, but Panasonic is best. And of course, there is Sony's batteries also. Four best, Sony, Panasonic, Duracell and Varta. And now when we have purchased this new battery, this battery goes only in that way. Remember, this plus logo, that one, it must be up. Now we can see up, face this plus and this is plus marking in here this is up and as we can remember you take that in sides we, we keep that always in sides because if we compress that in all areas then we can generate in there this leak area and that's always sides in this this is the right way handle batteries and in that way look this goes in like 45 degree angle firstly 
up, down in these two, these keeping positions in that one and that one, and then we only thump up in here in this way, and it goes great. Look, and this is only way, and you can look that when here is the small slot. This is the right way it goes in final one in here. And again, like training, when we take that away and install back, I take my flathead screwdriver and there is the small specific hole. This is excellent. And then a little bit movement and look, battery flies. Okay, now it flies away. And this is also, I can use this little bit and in this way, and check that this is clean, no any dirties in here, and then we install that back in this way, and we can help that it goes so deep, look, this is excellent benchmark installation to you, my friend, and then a little bit more force, and now it's almost ready, and then thump up, and like one pound force, and now it's great. And if you replace that in this way, then this is your smart key last years, about 10 years. Okay, and then when we have installed this battery, next step is to remember to install this part back. This is this down cover, that one, and this is this up cover. And keep your fingers in this um, seal or that, what is this gasket in here? We can take that away using our flathead screwdriver. And look, this goes only one way. And there is a small dent in that area, this dent in here, look. And this small dot goes in that hole in here. There is a hole in this right corner. Now we can see. This is Toyota's engineering. And now there is the small dent, and I install that in here only that way. And then I install that in deeper, and look, it must to be in so deep that it goes nicely. And after that, these buttons, these are these buttons in here. This goes only in this way. There is a little bit shape in that area, and there is also shape, look, right corner. And then I only drop that in here. In this way, look, there are those buttons and batteries like in this down area, everything looks like good. And then final part is that this area is also saved in here and this saved is also in that side, in here. This is Toyota's engineering. And now I install this area where is the saved. I can install that in this way in down, and now we can see that there is the safe area, now in this left area, and now I have to swap this my battery, I rotate and I keep in here my fingers, in this way all time, that otherwise this part can drop, and now I install that in this way, everything looks good, and and now only carefully in this way, good. And then I need to press this this little bit, but there is trick that now I have to install that again. Little bit in that kind of 45 degree look. And then firstly this area and then this down area. This is like in this way and then down and and press when we hear this sound, everything is fine, look, no any holes in here, everything is good, and then we check these buttons, look, and we can hear this car sound, my car is in the rear, everything is really good, fine, and final step is to install this spare key back and this goes only one way in here and remember to press this down in here and click 
Okay, excellent. And now when you have made this replace in that way and there is no any these holes in the side area, everything is fine and you can use this smart key about three years when you have this Panasonic battery. Okay, that kind of information to you my friend and be happy and if you have any issues visit in the dealership center. If your key is like broken or bad, they will immediately order new key. Thank you.